Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. This is an underwater adventure, and I'm going to narrate this one. So we're out here fishing on Pigeon Lake today with the jaw jacker. I set a GoPro down there to watch the pike and their pike activity, and it was a really slow day, so we learned a lot. On those slow days, you learn what it really takes to make the fish bite. Well, the pike video is great. The walleye video is even better, so don't forget to watch that one. Here's two nice pike coming in to check out this bait. This is just a jaw jacker, minnow, and jig with a treble hook. Now I had this jaw jacker set relatively tight so you can see he's jerking on it, jerking on it, and bam, gets hit right there. Then another jack, this one, he comes in a few times and looks pretty skinny. You can tell the fish that are skinnier, they are very skeptical when it comes to touching the lure. You'll see he touches it right here, spits it out. Doesn't seem like he likes the taste of metal. He's probably tasted it before, heading on his way. But he comes back around, eyes it up again, and it isn't the last we've seen of this pike. He comes back a few more times, uh, and you're going to see in the next few clips here, comes back around to check it out once again. You'll notice it's the same pike because he has those, I don't know what they are, leeches or something hanging from his left side of his jaw comes in this time to check out the camera you can see a walleye swimming by in the background there here he comes in again this time he's after that bait and once again it's just a minnow with jig and a, a treble trailer taste it look how he spits out oh he is not liking this bait super interested in it but he is not inhaling it Pike were really in an off mode. The weather was really warm. It had been stable for quite some time, but we don't know why the fish were not very aggressive. When we were jigging in holes right next to this, we found that we barely saw anything on the Markham because they were just not coming into that jigging action. They were totally ignoring it. The jaw jackers were getting more hits, just a bait sitting still. They were more curious in a bait that was sitting still in this totally negative mood fishing day. So here you see this pike is attacking this bait from above. So he keeps biting it, nothing's happening. He's not getting hit. So one thing I learned was, I probably set my jaw jacker a little bit too tight. I should have loosened the tension a bit because eventually he does get hooked here, but he gets off. He's got a pretty good taste of it now. It looks like he definitely wants this bait. Let's see, he swims away with it now. He's got it in his mouth both hooks in his mouth, takes off, and uh, he gets hit right there, but he comes off. Look at him swimming away. Nice big walleye in the background there. And right when that guy's swimming away, this other big pike comes in. I caught this pike on my rod later, and uh, you'll see he actually hits the jaw jacker too, and he gets off. So let's watch this. Now the big pike, you see him sitting in the background beside that rock. He sat there for like five, 10 minutes. And they'll use this. Where they have big cover, they'll sit right beside it and wait for something to make this mistake and come by. Well, he waited there long enough, came in to check out my bait and the camera, and uh, he'll come in again and uh, take a swipe at it. So check out this great pike. This is like a 10-pound pike, because I know because I caught him as well on my own rod, which was fun. You can check out that video. That was a lot of fun catching him on the lighter rod. Here he comes in again. Great looking pike. This one was in much better shape. Had some meat to him. But he once again was very cautious. Super suspicious of this bait. Maybe the flash on this jig is too big. But I doubt it. I think it's just those mood that the fish can get in. And that when it's slow, this video really shows you. You gotta go slow. Our hand rods that we were jigging, we weren't getting near the action as these jaw jackers just sitting still were. Near the end of the day, we started just holding our jigs still. Then we started to see stuff on our Markham, started to see uh, more action, starting to get bites. So slow it down. Slow presentation on those days when they are just not interested in it. There he gets hit, hit by the jaw jacker, but look at that, he got off. But it's okay, I got him later. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Check it out.